In this video, you will learn how to create drag and drop in your GNOME extension. Import ST and G object to create containers. Import main to add the containers to the GNOME shell stage. Import DND to have drag and drop behavior. Create two global variables to hold containers. Create BN container like this. This container will be the draggable container. Create delegate for DND. Now create the second container with the same structure. This container is our droppable container. Add the containers to the GNOME shell stage. As you can see, we have two containers. I want to make the gold container draggable and the lime container droppable. You can use DND to make the first container draggable. Restore on success allows the container to get back to its first place after a successful drop. It is useful when the drop is creating a copy. Manual mode allows to start drag and drop manually. Drag actor max size allows you to resize the container when the drag is start. Drag actor opacity allows you to change the container opacity when the drag is start. As you can see, we can drag the container now. The size and opacity are changing when the drag start. When I release the mouse click, it goes back to its first place. I don't use this settings here. You can monitor drag events like this. As you can see, all signals are working. When I release the drag, it will be cancelled first and then ends. You can monitor drag like this. Now we add the drag monitor. And here we can remove the drag monitor like this. This is drag motion method. And this is the drop method.
When we move the first container on second container, it should show the drop cursor. We return the mouse cursor here. These are the possible values you can return. And for drag drop, these are the possible values you can return. I don't use drag drop monitor here. Now you need to add and remove drag monitor when the drag start and end. Also remove it on container destroy. As you can see when I move it on the second container, the mouse cursor is changing to move drop. To make the second container droppable, you need to create accept drop method. This method returns boolean. If you remove the source element here, DND goes directly to the drag end event. But if you don't, DND do whatever you specified in restaurant success and then goes to the drag end event. As you can see, the second container accepts the drop, and the first container goes inside the second container. This is the end of this tutorial series. By now, you should be able to create anything you want by reading GNOME documentation and UI source code. Thanks for watching.